the end of the shoot, he sat down and he's like looking over his footage and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, this is it. So I ran across the studio, literally to the end of it. And I was like, boop. <laughs> My name is Tessie Ahigwese and I am 25 years old and I'm a current photographer and also a commercial photographer. I've been practicing as a photographer professionally now for about two years and so um, I'm pretty new in the space as well. I consider myself still learning as I go along. Yeah, originally um, I'm from Nigeria but I've been living in Ireland for about 25 years now or 20 years, not 25. I just kind of I started like getting into it and transition year in secondary school and you know since then it's just been like a practice that I've just always done and always wanted to learn more from. I went off to college and I studied media, um, creative digital media, and I just decided oh yeah I'll major in photography because it's something that I have an a little bit of an interest in, passionate um, about it. So um, after college I just kept doing it and kept you know. And I, you know, I saw that I can, I can get paid from it. I can, you know, and that's just how it's been literally since then. So, yeah, I wouldn't really say I, I've chosen it per se. I don't know. It just feels natural. It just feels like something I should be doing. That image in particular, um, as part of the overall collection, I feel like it really emphasizes what the project was about or what I was trying to get out of that project, which was to photograph. Um, a worker um, of, of color um, within their own workspace, almost like pondering and, you know, um, the way he's looking away, um, away from the camera, he's like, he's more um, in tune with his own environment. That's what I was trying to like portray in most of the images from the collection. While photographing him, because the whole idea was to photograph workers in their space while they're working, and um, while shooting him, he, he's a videographer and he was on set and busy and directing and all that stuff. So it was hard to kind of get him alone. And I was kind of trying to get that specific moment. But then at the end of the shoot, he sat down and he's like looking over his footage and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, this is it. So I ran across the studio, literally to the end of it. I was like, boop. <laughs> so to me, um, I think I really kind of um, got what I wanted in terms of um, capturing him in, in, a, in a state that he's not like aware of the camera, he's more in, him, his, in his own space. So the reason I kind of chose that, um, that idea for my project was because um, 2020, for some reason, um, you know, people were out of work and stuff like that. So some people just started creating their own small businesses and especially uh, loads of people within the black community, businesses popping up left and right, right? And I just got approached by uh, different clients, like can you photograph um, for my beauty a product coming out and stuff like that. And so I just thought, oh wow, um, uh, this is interesting actually that people are you know starting to create their own stuff. So that's kind of what led me to thinking about the work life and stuff like that, you know. So